to national, okay? Just the president, who you just brought up, yes. is coming to New York on Thursday. He's going to make this uh, pitch for Wall Street reform. He's going to do it at Cooper Union. He's having a little tiff with Mayor Bloomberg, etc. He and Chuck Schumer are on the same page about Wall Street reform, it seems, at any rate. Um, is this a good idea for the Democrats? Maybe it's going to help them. There's a lot of anti-Wall Street sentiment, a lot of populist stuff going on. Is that going to inculcate them against this anger, this midterm election potential flip? Well, when economic times are tough, people I, I think people generally want to see people with a lot of money pay more. And they want to see people who they think have ripped off the system um, get nailed. And right now, I think the general feeling among Main Street across the country is that the guys on Wall Street made out like bandits. We all bailed them out with our tax dollars, and now there are bonuses through the roof. So I think politically, it's a great move for the president to go beat up the bad guy. Let's go beat up some rich people. Yeah, but Wall Street is the economic is engine old. of New York. He comes to New York, he chastises Wall Street, and then he gets all these people whipped up into a foment. He gets, you know, Governor Patterson saying, you can't do this. He says Mayor Bloomberg saying this isn't a good idea. He gets Senator Schumer. Okay, not Senator Schumer, actually, because he, much to the chagrin of his where Wall Street do donors. Think the, where do you think the unemployed voters upstate and underemployed voters upstate who watch this show, where are their sympathies going to lie? Anti-Wall Street. Okay. So politically, the, the, the answer to your question is, if the Republican Party, who has done pretty well in their total opposition strategy, follows Mitch McConnell and is perceived as shilling for the banks and Wall Street on this reform, this is not beating up Wall Street. This is saying, let's have reform that, that, that brings integrity, honesty, and material information back to investors. If the Republicans buy into the Frank Lund strategy that through words you can sh shill for the banks and look like you're against bailouts, they will lose badly. And that's one of those tipping point events that is going to turn this election away from a Republican route and probably towards a rather even, a more even Stephen contest nationally. So along those lines then, the Working Families Party, which I don't think anyone would accuse of And by being, the way, we're letting an Illinoisian go to Cooper Union, where another Illinoisian yes, said, Lincoln, said uh, where right should make might rather than the reverse. It's actually his second, at least his second stop there. During the campaign, he was, he was yes. there, too. Boy, that's a reach, but keep going. What? Abraham Lincoln? Oh, they, 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 you, know, the, the, you know, the Lincoln thing. A guy, somebody from Illinois going to Cooper Union, they probably admit a thousand people from Illinois there Yeah, but he's year. done the, uh, President Obama has done yeah. the optics on Abraham right. Lincoln right. to yeah. the nth degree, right? right. He, where did he announce Well, your former boss candidacy. said listening to Sam Waterston reenact the Cooper Union speech was, the, was one of the highlights of his serving governor. This is where we devolve so. into wonkdom. Here we go, right? I'm going to pull us out of the mire. Thank All you. right, so the Working Families Party suggested a Wall Street bonus tax. They want to use this as an alternative revenue generator. Good idea? Bad idea? No, it's a ridiculous idea. I oh, mean, they, they, they've already, you know, they've already taxed. They tried to tax the rich thing last year. I don't think it's generating the revenue that everybody thought it would generate. This is the Working Families Party making a politically partisan thing. Again, just sort of a politically, a piece of political rhetoric that, as a policy matter, is a bad idea. I you happen, to agree, I happen to agree with you, except the polling data shows that the public would support that. But I, I agree. And That's I, the definition of political rhetoric, is if, the, is, if, is if the public supports it, but it's a lousy political rhetoric. Yeah, and the legislature moves reason. on political rhetoric, and in an election year, maybe they actually would go with that sort of thing. And that's why the state's in such good shape. Indeed. You don't think the state's in good shape? I would. I, don't, I can't think you can find anybody who does. Uh huh. And we're in agreement on that too, which is unfortunate. We're supposed to disagree in this segment. We well, disagree. I don't agree with we you. We disagree. On that. Actually, no, I think you're wrong about that. We will try next time. We Better luck for us next time. I think that's all Fair the time enough. that we have. I really appreciate both of you coming here. You're very Thank well. you, Liz. I'm sure you'll be back. I hope so. And that's our insider segment. We have Bob Bellafiore, and also we have Bruce Jory. Thanks very much. Yep.